Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to change the href attribute of a link using jQuery. So if I have this HTML file where I have the body section and inside that I have a link and the link points to bing.com and I want to change this to google.com using jQuery dynamically. To show you that this link takes you to the bing.com let me run this file and as you can see this is a link to Bing if I click on it I'm taken to Bing.com very simple what if I instead of what if I just want to change it back to google.com and instead of taking it to Bing it the link takes me to google.com to do that I would use the script j called as jQuery to include the jQuery, I would add the following uh, statement in the top section inside the head section. And then I would add the code in these tags called a script and the slash script. So here I would use a function called as dollar and document the dollar takes an argument as document and when it is ready the document is ready it will call a function which has a body and we close the statement by a semicolon and inside this body we search for this particular element since this is without an id we just add an id here search engine for example now to search this id called a search engine we would use dollar once again and since it is an id we would use a hash we'll type in the name of the id dot let us first uh, uh, read the value of uh, this id uh, this uh, link before we actually start changing it so we'll alert this value so that box pops out when we run this code and we use a function called as attr which specifies the attribute of this for example the id and the href and st things like that so here i would like to output the value of href close this save it and when I run this uh, file in my browser it should bring up a pop-up and the value should be http colon rebel slash bing.com let us see if it happens that way so it does find out the attribute correctly so http colon double slash bing.com is the value of this link and now if I want to change this all I have to do is just remove the alert part so that this gets removed and since I want to change the href all I need to do is just type in another value after the comma so now what is going to happen is that instead of going to the bing.com the link will now take me to google google.com let us see if it happens just run this code once again basically there is no change in the text but when I click on this it takes me to google.com so that's how this whole thing is structured so if you want to get the attribute value just get it like this and if you want to set any attribute value just get the attribute and set the value right here I hope you like the tutorial thanks for watching